What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. So this book was recommended to me by my cousin. That's not anything new. My cousin recommends a lot of books to me and normally they're either hit or miss. They hardly ever fall in the middle, but this book is an exception. It falls perfectly in the middle. This is one of her favorite authors and I can totally see why because the writing style is very poetic and it's really, really well done. I really love the way that this book was written and the way that everything was like painted and like how everything sounded and it came across like really, really great. But the story kind of fell flat for me, which is why I'm giving this book just a C plus. I strongly debated giving it a B, but I just really couldn't get past this lackluster story. For those of you who don't know, this Savage Song is kind of about monsters in a fallout city in this dystopian young adult universe. and. Basically, that's all we really get for world building. A lot of time is dedicated to building this world, but it just really wasn't coming together for me. I don't know if that's because I listened to it or what, but I just really wasn't understanding why things were happening, why the world was how it was. So I came away with this book with a lot more questions than I did answers. Again, the way this book is written Everything is important. There's so much information all the time. So listening to it, it's entirely possible that I just got lost along the way. But either way, I still had trouble following along. In addition to that, the main characters are basically cookie cutter YA characters. I thought they were gonna be really cool, especially the female character, Kate, because she was more of a monster than our actual monster, August, What with her kind of having this rocky past and really wanting to prove herself to her father doing anything that she thinks will get its attention, whether that's like burning down a school or threatening other students or just any of that. And she had this really complex history that I really wanted to explore, but we just don't really get to do that. And I feel like that was a missed opportunity because the other main character, August, his monster abilities were basically like forcing people to confess and like stealing their souls. So I kind of thought we would go deeper into like nature versus nurture and what this girl had been going through, but we don't really do that. Instead, we're swept up on this really complex, complicated, convoluted, all the C word plots that just really didn't make sense. It was very fast paced. We were running from something, but I don't really understand what we were running from. There was a kind of a twist in there that I didn't really see coming and I don't understand why we needed it. And by the end of the book, I just didn't really know what was happening. And I guess that's the point because it'll all be explained in the next book, but I'm also not feeling motivated to read the next book. So overall, I enjoyed the book, but I didn't really understand what was going on with the story and I'm not interested enough to find out. I did like that this book was about what makes a monster, what a monster really is, like finding your humanity, but it's not really done in any way that's new. It kind of just follows the same design, what with like switching the roles and having the monster actually kind of be the one that's more human. But even then, the, there were three types of monsters and this type of monster was the only one that looked human, was the only one that acted human, and it was just like, okay, your, your rules aren't really getting me, They're, you're falling into some YA traps here, and it just overall took it down a couple of pegs for me, but it was definitely a solid read and I am looking forward to reading some other books by this author. It's always really hard to talk about books like this because I walk away from it liking it, but then the more I think about it, the less I like it and the more problems I start to see with it, but then like I'll walk away from it again and I'll be like, oh no, I liked that book and it goes back and forth, which makes these videos kind of hard to do. It's just hard to talk about this book, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every Monday. That's everything I got for you today, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.